this video we're going to be transferring some Pokemon from you know Fire Red, Leaf Green. Gotta fill up the Pokedex and just get it going. Nothing really new, but I also I want to talk about you know kind of 2020, um, you know New Year. So I want to talk about just recapping last year, some of the great things that happened, and I guess then I want to talk about updates on this channel, what's gonna be expected moving forward, and because a lot of stuff happened. Over the last like month or so, I know a lot of people probably don't care, but why is there just like a little fuzz on the mic? I know a lot of people might not care, but I know some of you do, so it's always enjoyable to talk about those things with you all. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> I was uh, then I'll try to look really closely, but yeah, we'll do that too. Um, this party is full. So twenty. Started off, you know, I was working uh, during my winter break and, you know, having a good time. They went back to school for last year or last semester ever. That was, if as long as I passed that semester, I'd graduate. Yeah, it was kind of hard. Oops, I guess I did that. But we managed to pass. Actually, it wasn't that hard because I was still. It was kind of challenging this this semester before, but this semester actually wasn't that bad. Okay, it wasn't working, but now it is. Yeah, so like uh, February, like not a March. Oh, what do you think? Like March, like eighth, we had to go back um, for spring break to sc uh, from school. You know, we chilling. My friend came to, uh, to my house, you know, like, bad, or it's like three or four hours away from school, and we hang, hung out, and then, you know, obviously, anarchy kind of ensued, we had to go back to school, like, move all our stuff out, and then work, for, or study from home, kind of just standard stuff that happened to everybody, and then we, uh, or I guess I, like, gra we both graduated, you know, it was so, it was good, eventually it was kind of hard working from home, or studying from home because the teachers and stuff didn't really understand how to do it. It was kind of new to everybody. Uh, but, you know, you just adapt and you just get it done. So you ended up graduating college. Uh, that was a big sigh of relief because, you know, just kind of got bored of studying. I mean, it's fun to study, but, man, it just, I was ready to, you know, work, make some money, be a part of society. So that was what I was looking forward to, getting out of school a lot, was just, you know, making money and being a member of society. Uh, after, you know, graduated, tried to apply for jobs, there was, like, really none anyway, and you didn't want to work anyway, because you don't know what how the disease, you know, kind of contracted at that time and stuff, and I don't know, just didn't want to hassle, so I decided to make a lot of YouTube videos and try to, you know, fill that passion I had and try to make it like a business and I had I think when I started at the beginning of May we kind of like kind of uh, March probably you know March April so when I really started I probably had like six YouTube channels I think it was five but I think six I was trying for you know making multiple videos every no not even wow yeah I think it was like eight to ten videos a week maybe more, probably more actually, because I wanted to make like two videos a week on each channel, but some videos, I only, yeah, it's probably like 15 videos a week, honestly, this happened for like three months, and then I started, you know, telling myself like, okay, I don't need to do this, like, this channel obviously is not good, people aren't watching it, no one's liking or commenting, no one's talking about it, people aren't even, there's no watch time, why don't we put that energy toward this channel, you know? Slowly we started moving the energy into different channels, focusing on the ones we're working. And um, I had one channel, it was actually my Call of Duty channel. That was a lot of fun to make the content, but it just took so much time to make each video. People weren't watching it that much either. And that was upsetting because I did have like a very small following on that. And I had to just kind of drop that content to focus on, you know, what was working. And to 
my surprise, like, this channel is, like, the best channel I have right now with, like, watch time and just people that like the videos and stuff. It, so I started noticing, I went to my friend's house in New York City, and in one, like, week, I got, like, 50 subscribers, and I was there for, like, three days, and I was like, what's happening? I actually don't know what happened, but the algorithm, you know, did me dirty, uh, or not did me dirty, did the opposite, did me dirty, like, did really good for me. So, um, I was like, wow, I guess I really have to just start putting more time into this content, which, I mean, what, I wasn't expecting this channel to do well at all. I mean, it still is kind of small, to be honest, but, um, it's bigger than I thought it ever would be right now. Maybe not ever would be, you know, but it definitely popped off a little bit. So I just started trying to make as much videos as I can for this channel, but make them good. I know I got new mics and stuff. I guess the majority of stuff that happened to me could be summarized, or like my channels and stuff has already been summarized. Like, when I really break it down, not that much happened. You know, I, I did stop working out too, but now I picked it back up. You know, I gotta keep physically active. Um, I guess I picked that up because um, I started working out again like a month ago, or two months ago. Just gotta be active, you know. Um, but yeah, I stopped working out. That was a mistake. It wasn't even a mistake, it was just a lack of energy. I'm kind of getting a little sidetracked. But, um, yeah, I think a majority of stuff that happened to me like five six months is all YouTube related and it's it's I'm happy that these channels you know have been doing kind of good but the only two channels that really remain are this one and my ASMR like stock market channel and um I don't know I just thought that I would have like another channel that uh would have done good but it's whatever you know I'm happy with what I have here and I'm just gonna stick with these two channels, maybe maybe another one if I get more time, but I probably won't. Just because, uh, you know, gotta make it work. And this content's really fun to make, it's relaxing, it's enjoyable. I have no complaints with this content, it's just, uh... Sometimes it's, it's easier just to talk into the camera, you know, not whisper. But, uh, I think it sounds nice, to be honest.
guys in two weeks. I guess today is January 4th. So I'm getting surgery in my eyes this week. On the 6th, I'm going to uh, get the measurements. They're going to measure all out. On the 8th, I'm actually going to get it performed, the surgery. Then um, I basically can't like do anything strenuous on the eyes, like read, um, like play any video games or look at my phone. Uh, I kind of just got to sit, watch TV, and just chill. So, for like at least a week. Then after that is done, so the 18th, I start working. I got a position at a quality engineering um, firm. So, you know, I'll be doing some quality control and stuff. That should be kind of fun and, you know, gain some experience and stuff. So, I guess, uh, yeah, my life just definitely changed drastically, but for the good, you know. So, it's kind of like where, like what happens now moving forward. So, I guess there isn't really going to be any videos all next week. Um, I'm going to try to make a bunch of videos, like, this week until the surgery, so I can just have, like, one or two videos uploaded next week. Uh, no promises on that, but I think it'd be, I think I could do it. Um, I guess, yeah, I'm getting LASIK surgery, so I can talk about why I did that too one day. Maybe not this video, because I want to talk about just this channel moving forward. Uh, this channel definitely isn't going anywhere. Um, this channel's my baby, and I'm really happy everyone watches these videos and this content so relaxing to make that it's like an outlet to I don't know, go to, you know so this channel definitely isn't going anywhere the uploads I think we're gonna do I'm gonna strive for three a week probably two a week I know you guys know, probably noticed that there's been a lot less uploads it's just because I've been just doing a lot of stuff and I've been wanting to put more time to other things but I think two videos a week, I can do that so easily because I can just record Saturday, Sunday, or just Saturday, edit on like Sunday or throughout the week a bunch of videos. So I can definitely do that. Uh, so that's definitely sustainable. I uh, still am going to continue probably my other channels, you know, when I have time and stuff. But uh, this channel is definitely the main focus where I want to make sure this content gets out first because it's the most important. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, um, I want to, yeah, I guess I could talk about that too. Uh, we are definitely going to continue the Platinum series. I actually, my New Year's res not resolution, but uh, to start the new year, you know, just like to have things that I want to do. I started already trying to complete the Pokedex and Oracle soul silver i'm just capturing all the stuff in there so what i'm going to do is some episodes are going to be pokemon platinum walkthroughs and we'll do that all together and other episodes or some other episodes are going to be me just showing my updated progress through our gold soul silver pokedex i decided to do that game just because it's a little bit more near and dear to my heart but i platinum does have just so much content and stuff. I really want to do all the battle tower stuff in this game as opposed to Dark Gold Soul Silver. Just something about this game makes me want to play it in this. I don't. I don't know. But yeah. Um. Like last weekend, yeah, a couple days ago, I you know in Gale of Darkness. Sorry, I keep saying you know. It just comes out naturally. In Gale of Darkness, I caught Lugia. Um. And basically, almost every Pokemon in that game. The next thing I want to do is go through the battle tower. So we'll maybe we'll do a live stream on that soon. Just getting the starters. I need, there's very few Pokemon I need left in these. And I do probably need to, you know, I definitely need to get Pokemon Coliseum. I didn't know it was so expensive. It's like a hundred, no, two hundred fifty bucks for the game. I was like, oh my God. But yeah, I need that for Ho-Oh. 
and there's some other j uh, Johto Pokemon that are easier to get in that game. I can still get it in Leaf Green, but I need that game anyway. So I might just put that those few Pokemon on hold until then. I also need to get at some point an R4 uh, like the card so I can give myself the Oxus and stuff in, po in the, these games. Um, what else do we need to discuss? Yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon stuff. Uh, we could also start doing some Yu-Gi-Oh, more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. So I do have a lot of content and things I want to basically create still. It's just that there's going to be less uploads, which I think is fine, to be honest. I don't think most people watch my videos every day anyway. I know some of you do, and I appreciate it. But I think, uh, you know, posting every other day or let's say twice a week, you know, it makes the time, like, it makes, you know, just that time more valuable because there's less of the content, I guess. And I'll have a lot more stuff to talk about. I do, now that I'll be making money and stuff consistently, I definitely want to make some more Pokemon upload, uh, uploads, openings and unboxings. I, um, I don't want to get in the habit of doing one, like, every week or, you know, once every, like, two weeks, like, maybe, like, once a month. I don't want, you know, because it gets really addictive. I know I've been down that road before, you know, just a lot of money gets bumped into, you know, opening cards and stuff, and it's just, um, I need to make sure I'm saving for, you know, big boy stuff, like a house, you know, um, yeah, just big boy stuff like that, but always make time for some fun and stuff. just because it, it, everything's so expensive. Um, some cards I definitely want, but for, the, for investing purposes, I don't even see a point in doing it. Just everything's so expensive. But yeah, I mean, I'll definitely invest in other things, but po investing in Pokemon just doesn't really make any sense, I guess, to me right now.
Um, I hope this new year gets better, you know, like, uh, it gets kind of cured or goes away, but I don't like getting my hopes up either. I'd rather just, uh, you know, be in the moment and enjoy it and try to find, uh, you know, I'm not going to hope it's going to get better. I'm going to hope it's, I mean, I hope it gets better, but I'm not going to assume it will. So, but I do hope it will, you know, but there's always things we could be the time with others and stuff, so that's almost more important to me. But yeah, this year's gonna be great. I'm gonna have new eyes, basically. I'm gonna be able to see, like, I'm just so blind. I guess I'll talk about that really quick. I don't, like, I remember, I don't know if anyone watched, I know you, some people you watched that video a few months ago. I talked about careers and stuff, and I talked to an Air Force recruiter. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm just so blind that, like, I can't even get selected, or I can't even pass, like, maps or whatever just to go into it. And I was like, wow, am I that blind? And it's just one of those things, too, like, I'm just so blind that if something were to happen, you know, and my glasses break, or let's say my contacts, like, fall out, and I'm in some emergency situation, like, I can't. And that's just scary, like, I don't want to like, have to be in a position where, like, I can't save myself or something if my eyes get, you know, it's like such an important part of your senses that I just thought that, you know, I, I have an opportunity to get my vision corrected, and I would be dumb to, I just realized. opportunity, you know, just, uh, I'm very fortunate in the spot I'm in, and I just thought that it would be wise for me to just get the vision corrected, and I've been wanting this for years, but my vision just kept getting worse and worse, and you need, like, a uh, about two years of stable vision before you can get, like, selected it's appropriate to get the treatment because um, you want to make sure your vision's not changing too much. So, yeah, that's been a while that I, you know, my vision stopped me from doing things that I wanted in my life. I guess just career choices. Like, one thing I wanted to be like a helicopter pilot for a bunch of years. And then it turns out, like, I can't do that at all. Like, I, because my vision's just bad. And I don't know, it just, um, just simple things too, like taking a shower, go, like go swimming in the ocean or a pool. Like, uh, yeah, you can have contacts, but it, it can. 
gets so irritated if it gets a little bit wet. Can't have glasses in the pool. It's just, uh, and uh, like if I take them off, I'm blind. Like I'm just so blind. I know there are probably people out there more blind than me, but I'm not trying to have like a competition between who is more blind. I'm just saying I'm blind. And uh, I kind of want to kind of correct the issue. So that's exciting. You know, just selling some cards, you know, raising some money now that I have a job to gonna be able to pay for it, so that is um gonna be great actually. Uh, yep. I wanna make sure I'm not transferring the wrong Pokemon. Uh, so yeah. I guess for a couple days my eyes are gonna be really bothering me. They said only like one day to be honest. And then it just kind of heals, but you just got to not strain your eyes or do anything stupid, like like work out or poke your eye or touch it at all. So for like a whole day, my eyes are going to be kind of like poopy, but it's whatever. It's There are a lot worse things, you know, considering the uh, benefits that are going to be gained from this. It's well worth it. So yeah, no more glasses for me. No more contacts. And... Uh, I've basically had glasses since first grade, so since I was like six, and I didn't wear them permanently until I think sixth grade, so five years later, I, I wore them every day, no matter what, um, but yeah, basically my entire life I've been kind of blind, it kind of stinks, like, uh, if I was like in the wild, you know, as like a species, and just my most important sense is vision, and then it just disappears and I can't operate, you know. That's terrible. But, um, yeah. Good time to be alive, I guess, where we can get this treatment. And it has very high success rate. And, um, yeah, so I'm very fortunate, very happy. I mean, I guess I'm a little nervous, but it wouldn't be. But, uh, I'm not too nervous on the surface level at all. Maybe really deep. I am a little bit, but uh, it, there's no reason to really be nervous. Be, like that's why that's why I'm not nervous is because I, the technology's come so far. Everything's up to like yeah, it's a really good doctor. We know the guy, and uh, yeah, I I think it's gonna be great. I'm excited. All right, so let's finish this up. I'm not sure why there's some very loud noise that just sounds like a generator, I don't know what's happening, but, um, yeah, hopefully you guys can hear that, let's see, Wingle, uh, Wingle, Wingle, I want to try to remember, yeah, I went here, Wingle and Bella Bear, and what's that, what's that Pokemon by nose bag? I mean, we 
got the, these are all the starters. What's this right here? Togepi. Yeah. No, no. Clefla. Clefla. And then. Dukachek. Uh, we need a lot over here. Uh, Hopip. Oh, we got Hopip. Skip. Espeon, yeah, Espeon, Umbreon, Murawak, Slope, we need, yeah, Mistrevy is gonna be annoying, um, actually, let me just make sure, I mean, I have everything in this game, but, um, let's see, do I need to shop it, what number is shop it? almost done. Wow. Okay, let's save. Then we just have to start, uh, you know, breeding everything. What's our Pokedex in now? 346. Wow. So, 346. Yeah, number 
excited and looking forward to it. A lot of things are happening. So let me know below. Hopefully your 2020, or no, 2021 is going to be a great year. I got used to saying that. So let me know some of your goals and stuff you plan on doing this year. I know that, I guess I didn't talk about my Japanese too, but I do want to continue Japanese and just learning stuff, playing the piano, you know, continuing my hobbies. But let me know some stuff you're doing this year. And we're going to come back probably near the end of next year, so maybe like 11 months from now, you know, see how we're doing. Are you guys sticking to your plan? Maybe that's a little too late by then, right? Probably like a three or four month period. Make sure everyone's, you know, being the best they could be. And, you know, finding happiness and, you know, purpose. I know a lot of people watch these videos before they go to bed. But, uh, you know, if you, if you want to share some stuff you're doing in 2021, let me know. We'd love to read about it. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll talk to you guys.